What's good, YouTube? Welcome to episode 33 of my No BS series. Let's say you want to add some hi-hats to a song that you're making and you're not really sure kind of how fast you want them to go. You just, you know, you just want to experiment, which is a, a natural part of the music production songwriting process. So I'm going to say, okay, maybe I'll try it. So the song that I'm making is quite slow. So maybe I want some fast hi-hats to kind of add, maybe add a bit of rhythm to the song. So I'm just going to go all the way across like that and just play. So to me, that's probably a bit too fast. So maybe let's try, let's try it maybe every two steps. Yeah, cool. That sounds, that sounds better. It's still a bit too slow, but um, we can go into the piano roll, maybe make some tweaks, add in some ghost notes, um, play with the velocity, you know, things of that nature. So then when we go, cool, let's send this to the piano roll. So I'm just going to do a quick legato so you can see what I'm talking about. So control. So what you'll notice in the piano roll is there are these blue notes. So these blue notes are deleted notes that we removed from the step sequencer. So during my first experiment, when I have filled in every single note, essentially what the piano roll has done is it's retained that information. So Image Lion's kind of explanation for this is it saves the notes in case you're just playing around on the step sequencer and then you want to go back to it at another time in the future. For me, I think it's a massive pain in the ass and it doesn't actually it doesn't really serve any purpose for me. I'm not saying it doesn't serve a purpose for someone else, but for my production techniques or workflows, it doesn't suit me. So I find this really frustrating because I now have to go in and manually delete all of those notes. However, somewhat hidden function within the step sequencer or the, the channel rack that it's now called that you can switch this off and then go to this little drop down here and untick mute remove steps so now if we repeat the same steps as earlier whereas we filled up the whole step sequencer and then fill over two steps again and for fuck's sake For some reason, for this setting to take effect, you need to exit out of FL Studio and back in again, or at least reopen the project. For the purposes of keeping this tutorial short, I'm not gonna exit out of FL Studio and go back in again and show you, but take my word for it that that is how you remove those annoying little mute notes, play around with it, see whether or not you prefer it on or off, but at least now you know how to disable it if you wish. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful. Be sure to check back on my channel next Sunday for more tutorials on a wide variety of subjects. Peace.